I can't even talk. <laughs> I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to my YouTube my YouTube channel thus far. Um, I'm here taking you on my journey for my breast reduction slash breast lift. I'm feeling a little better today. I'm out headed to my first Ooh. appointment. My daughter just actually did my hair in the ponytail. Thank you, Cherish. Thank you so much. Um, feeling. I don't know if I already told y'all, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, just a little shortness of breath, so um, can't do much, much talking all at once. So I'm here to give you clips. So I'll get back with you guys. Headed to the doctor. See ya. Look at my baby helping me out to call y'all. Look, 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 look. Ooh, fix your mama chicken head. Oh gosh. Okay, y'all. So I just arrived. I just arrived to my appointment. It is a raining out here. You so pretty, Cherry. We look alike. Yes, you are. You always beautiful. We. I'm just just getting here to my appointment. My mom is going to park. Ooh, Cherry, this way. Can you please put my hair down? Look at my hair. Ma, it's fine. It's oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that bad in person. She's supposed yeah. to. She's supposed to keep me together. Yeah, come on, it's hot. I'm here. <laughs> I am excited to be a part of the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> yep, itty bitty titty committee. No heavy weights. Ah, the bruising is getting better. Yeah, so I got on my zip up sports bra, waiting for the doctor to come in to take a look at me, y'all. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna choke off my spit. Excuse me. The only thing, <coughs> I choking off my spit. I'll be right back. So I wanted to show y'all in this clip right here how my stomach is bloated from the anesthesia. So yeah, the anesthesia caused me to have some bloating. Um, and she did mention that the bloating will eventually go down. <laughs> I'm vlogging, you know, still vlogging. Oh, you're always vlogging. I am doing good. You're doing good. Yes, I just well, told I heard her. you I just... had an exciting time. Dr. Yes. Campbell called me Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. I was so worried. He, well, he messaged me and he was like, you don't have to call Miss Stone. It's a long story. And I yeah. was like, please tell me what happened. Is she okay? Oh, yeah, that night when I left. Yeah. We go to the emergency room. I he told me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what happened. I think I took the pill and laid down and dozed off. And I was like, wait. I feel well, weird. Like, I feel weird. I was like, my heart is racing. So uh -huh. my husband was like, I, you just need to relax. So I'm like, Cherish, go get Sue. Go get him. I feel weird. So I got up my heart rate. I checked my heart rate. It was like 162. Oh I was like, no, there's no way I'm going to have a In my mind, I'm telling I'm going to have oh a heart attack. Because no! I was so dehydrated. Because I just heard that um, when you get real dehydrated, people usually have a heart attack. And I didn't want to say that. But I was like, get me to go. Go. We got to go. No, but if you do get dehydrated, you can have like a faster heart rate. But yeah. still, that's pretty fast. Yes, it was scary. I asked him if it was a regular rhythm, and he said it was. So it sounds like they did all the workups. And it yeah, was like everything nothing. was negative. I was that's like, good. thank you, Jesus. Well, you thank God for prayer. Workout. So that's one of the things we worry about early on is just making sure the nipples still look healthy and viable. And they look great. Thank so you. everything looks perfect. Yeah, uh, it's just... I just feel like I feel like blood flowing through it sometimes. Like I can feel like movement. Like I was like maybe my nerves coming back, but I'm like they might oh. be. So that's another thing with the sensation. You may get yeah. some sensation changes over the next like six weeks. Uh -huh. um, some women will have full sensation again, mm -hmm. and some women don't. So it might be a little bit dull, and that's totally normal. Mm -hmm. um, but some people complain of like a burning feeling, just yeah. like if your leg falls asleep, mm -hmm. that could mean your nerves are coming back. Yeah, So you might feel all. that. I just feel like blood flowing, or something's flowing, like it feels like a liquid flowing through my bruise, huh. like when I bend over, or, but yeah. Hmm. But it's not a bad feeling though, at okay. all. Well, they look great. Everything looks perfect. Thank you. I just walk outside right now. You can. <laughs> you can. Just That's take so it easy crazy. for now. Don't do anything too strenuous. Okay. No heavy lifting. Okay. Try not to be lifting like up over your head right away yet because okay. we still want these incisions yeah. to heal in all the way. Okay. Um, we'll have you come back in two weeks. So you'll come back again at 
at like week three-ish okay. from surgery. Hopefully by then, if your steri strips haven't come off on their own, we'll peel them all off at that time okay. so we can look under there and see how your incisions look. Okay. Um, and how many pounds were taken Ooh, off? Yeah. And did I see you that day? Because I don't remember seeing you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I came and saw you in pre-op and I was in the operating room with you the whole time. I don't remember seeing you in pre-op. I don't know that medicine. I don't remember. Yeah, but it causes amnesia. I remember which somebody is else good. Like, not you. But you were so, you were great. Oh, thank you. You were great the whole time. Okay. Um, yes, you did see me. There was 1.2 pounds per breast. 1.2, 1.2. Oh, so that's like 2 pounds, 2.4 pounds. Two point, pound. yeah. 2.4 pounds. Yes. yes. Total. Okay. It was not a lot. It was exactly what, so insurance companies tell us how much weight they require mm -hmm. to pay for it. Right. So we removed what they require. Okay. Because we wanted you to still have boob. Yeah. Yeah, so do I need to take the ABD pads off or? You don't have to. If they make it more comfortable to wear the yeah. bra, then just keep them on there. Keep them Whatever on. you're comfortable with. Yep, yeah. you can keep them on. They won't hurt anything. Uh, yeah, I think I just want them kind of like up under. Yeah, absolutely. So you can just keep them there. If I use it like for a cushion, yeah. For like the cushion up under. Yeah, I'll get you some more. What they did, they cut you up under? Yes, yeah, so yes. they went up under. And what you want to do? And then, did I go down here? Oh, no. So you kind of cut it almost like in a triangle. Mm -hmm. So it's cut here and then down, and then this piece of the triangle goes away. Uh -huh. And then you fold everything back up in there and close it. And, and that's why they're sitting up high, because he takes a chunk of the breast tissue and shoves it up in there, like almost like a breast implant would be, yeah. and makes them higher. Yeah. I have my next appointment in two weeks. Um, yeah, 8.45 in the morning, everything looks good, went good, thank God. He gets all the praise and all the glory. Y'all ready? Come on. We're going out to get us some lunch. It's a ladies' day today. Granji is gonna take us to Pula. We are going to Del Sur. Granji. Granji. I look a mess. My edges ain't even done. my Del Sur. Wow, I thought we knew we was going to Del Sur before. I thought we was going to school. School is taking us. So you gonna do your edges? Yeah, I'm gonna do my edges. I look a mess. What? Why we can't go while we out? Because Del Sur people be there at Del Sur. Well, mama hungry, so we'll be gonna feed her. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're deciding on that. I forgot to mention that they did say I have some bruising on my breast, so I don't see like bruising as in like bruising, like blue bruising or like blood stain bruising. Um, so I asked her how was she able to tell that it was bruising, and she said because it was like a yellowish um, coloration on my skin, on my the breast of my skin. So. Um, other than that, she said, you know, that's normal, so I'm still healing. When I took my bra off in the, in the, um, doctor's room, y'all, I said, I just want to run out and be naked, like, braless, and she was like, do it! I was like, but I can't, like, you just say that? Could but yes, I just said that because, <laughs> like, I wanted to just be naked. So, like, any ladies in the car who would have just ran out with their titties out and be naked, like, no. come in the comments. Like, what? Like, because I'm just so happy to be a part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee once again. Well, I would have ran out with my tits out. I don't give a kitty. Ain't no shame in my game. Period. Ain't no shame in my game. Big, small. Get it from my mama. Girl, so my mom showed me her boobs in the she place. Like, I thought it was hereditary because my titties were like, yeah, my titties were like pear, like to the floor, like below zero. And like I said before, so when I was like, mom, let me see your titties because I know my titties look like your no, titties. I, I said, mom, I know my titties look like your titties. So when she showed me her titties, her titties was actually sitting up. And I said, how? Because from what I remember, her titties used to hang low like mine. But I'm like, how did your titties sit up like this? She said, because... She was. She said they thought they were still in the bra. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> Bro, she's so funny. You got it, You got it, That was a funny joke. That was a funny joke. That was a joke. No, wait. It's really funny, no, for real. No, so no, listen. No, 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 but anyway, hold on. My mama boobs set up for the record. For the record.
seconds to let me get y'all straight because I told a lot of people, I told a lot of people that my boobs were saggy like my mom's and they're not saggy. Her boobs is not saggy at all. I was like, so why they not oh, saggy? Man, he she yeah. said because she been working out. So I'm like, damn, I just needed to work out. My husband kept telling me that, but oh well. So much of the working out, they off. I'm happy. Oh my gosh. So we're at lunch. We didn't do Del Sur again. We are at Shatter's in so let's see how lunch goes today. If y'all have any questions that I can answer um, about the surgery, uh, I want you to drop them in the comments below. Um, and I'll definitely um, have answers for you um, during my next vlog or either I may just come in the comments and answer your questions in the comments right away. So yeah. Hey y'all, so I'm finally just getting out the shower. Um, this is my third day actually showering and it feels so good to shower um my husband uh, washes me or well, showers me thank god for my husband um because um like i said you can't do no reaching or anything so of course you know he washes my back he really tried to he really washes my whole body for me because i don't want to do like any crazy movement to um to like tear the the stitching or to rip the stitching um still having shortness of breath um i'm still blowing in my machine that they gave me so hopefully the breathing will be under control in like a week or so um that's the only thing i'm really having a problem with um so now i'm going to lay back and massage my boobs i am in my sun room because my sun bed is so comfortable like my bed is comfortable but my mattress is a little too soft but his mattress is more firm, so which helps me to get up out the bed um, because she doesn't want me to do any like pushing up with my arms, like pushing up with my arms. She want me to use my core, like when I stand up, like the core of my body. Um, so yeah, no like pushing, like pushing up for me to stand up. So his bed is much higher and um he helps me out of course he's ready to get back in his bed but he's gonna have to wait so yeah um my husband actually told me in the shower that my back looked like it's getting smaller which is a good thing he went yesterday and got me some body pillows from target so i got two body pillows um which really feels good to lay on. Really, really, really feels good to lay on. Um, and that's all I have for you tonight. I'm actually gonna lay back and massage my breasts because she told me, you know, to uh, make sure I massage them. So, um, and she said that they are swollen. So eventually they're gonna go down. So they're gonna be smaller than what they really are. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. I am gonna show you um, more clips of how they actually look. Like I said, this is the fourth day. Let me see, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. I think it's twelve. Fourth, fourth day, fifth day, one of those days. But I'm gonna start showing you um, the healing process of what it actually looks like. Um, she said for me not to tear the the white strips off that's around the areola and up under. She wants them to naturally fall off, so to keep showering. Um, and they'll eventually fall off. Um, by week three, if they hadn't fall off yet, she said whenever I come in that they would go ahead and start removing them. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching.